as populations rise, you know, we see increased demand for food. But in order to produce that food, we're seeing challenges. We have to do this with constrained resources, with constrained land, with constrained water, with constrained people. Thankfully, we're at a place where there's so many different exciting technologies that are applicable in agriculture. We probably are at the beginning of the fourth agriculture revolution. And a lot of that is driven by technology. A microbiome is something that I think is the most important one. It is all about using bacteria to help plants consume more nutrients. The production of fertilizers is a very energy intensive process with high level of greenhouse gas emissions. Our investment, Pivot Bio, has developed a natural way to extract nitrogen from the air and utilize it as a fertilizer. Microbes are the way that nature wants to produce nutrients for crops. All the fertilizer we use has caused those microbes to be dormant in that soil. Microbes have the ability to turn nitrogen in the air into a form the plant can use. We rediscover those microbes, reawaken that capability, and turn that into something that's easy for a farmer to use. We're trying to rethink how we grow all of the food on this planet and do it in a way that's more efficient, better for the planet, and also allows us to feed our growing population. Disease outbreaks are a major problem in animal farming agriculture. Using vaccine as a preventative measure is probably the best way to go about it to help ensure the profitability of the farmer and the safety of our food supply. When an animal is sick, you have to treat it. Sometimes you have to treat with antibiotics. And I would say the animals have the right to be treated. But when you can prevent the disease, it's far more efficient. That's why we have developed vaccines. I think it's clear that the world is moving from treatment to prevention and diagnostic. The Newcastle disease is a critical disease all over the world, and specifically in Africa. It's extremely difficult for a farmer. If you can provide them a day-old chicken vaccinated for life, it's a major way to secure the animal it will produce. The way it was classically done, you had to handle 20,000 birds, which in terms of animal welfare was not a good way, and you were not able to have a proper coverage. So we move the vaccination from the farm to the hatchery, injecting the eggs, and where you are able to cover 100% of the population. As a generational investor, Tomasic is well suited to invest in some of these new innovations. We think that it's important to bring these new technologies to bear when we think about the need for production of food in the future.